is Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com and Backcountry Hunters and Anglers coming to you from North Central Idaho and bringing you another episode of Backcountry College. Well, it's mid-November and the whitetail rut's going to kick in here in another two weeks or so. What we're going to do today is I've, I've hiked around in this area a little bit, but I've never been back on the back side of this ridge that we've got in front of, of us. And there's some really nice finger ridges on the back side of there that I want to check out. Now I parked my truck back here at this little barn here and I hiked out. I'm on this uh, I'm on this old logging road right here. There's some old skid trails and log roads back here, but they're all closed to motorized access. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, and get off of this, go up over the top of this ridge here. We're gonna drop down the back side of this, hook in with another log road back here, and we're gonna walk that up a little ways until we peel off and get down and head towards one of those ridges. First thing I'm going to do is just shoot a bearing from our current location to where we want to end up. That's just going to give me a general bearing, a general direction of travel. There's probably going to be some uh, deviation in there. We'll have to see once we get back there. There's a pretty good creek uh, back there that we might have to skirt around. But once we have the general direction of travel, we can just use the terrain and the map to navigate through the landscape to where we want to go. Uh, as long as I keep an eye on where I'm at on the landscape and then also on the map, uh, I can pretty much navigate through this land uh, without using the compass too much. Now before we get our way, I want to talk about a couple of map features uh, that we can use to guide us along our way. Um, we're going to talk about handrails, waypoints, and backstops. A handrail is a linear feature on the map and on the landscape that you can use to kind of guide yourself. Um, ridges, uh, little creeks, roads, all make really good handrails. Um, the idea behind a handrail is that you can use that to kind of guide you through the landscape. You don't have to be right on it uh, to use it. Um, if I wanted to travel in this direction, you know, I could keep this road off to my right hand side and I would know that I'm uh, headed in the, the right direction. Um, now today, we're, we're down here on this log road. We could just walk this road on up around, come up here, use this uh, little saddle here um, as a waypoint and then pop right up on this knob here where we're headed. Um, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do some cross country uh, travel here. Um, I don't, even though th these roads are closed, roads are kind of a magnet for hunters and uh, for the most part game tends to avoid them. So even though they are closed, uh, I don't like to walk on them. Uh, but we could do that if we wanted to. Um, a waypoint is an area that you're going to be traveling through that you can use to validate your location. Uh, this little knob could be a good one. Um, any kind of a definable feature on your map like a, a switch back in a road or a Y in a road like that could be uh, used as a waypoint. Um, these knobs are, are good waypoints. A backstop is somewhere that you can use to tell yourself that you've gone either far enough or, or too far. Um, you know, if I, uh, I'm gonna use this ridge as a backstop, we're gonna be traveling in this direction, and I'll know that when I hit that ridge, uh, that's as far as I need to go, because, and I can tell that I'm on this ridge because there's a major uh, topographical difference between this side of the ridge and this side. This is all mellow, mellow terrain. This is all very, very steep, steep, nasty stuff. If you spend enough time looking at maps and looking at the landscape, you can visualize the landscape just based on the topographic lines here. When we get up on this little ridge here, we're going to be looking out across, and we're going to be looking out across the creek here, looking up at this really big ridge here. So the land is going to fall off way down low before coming back up to this ridge here. So let's go see what we can find. I know that I'm on this uh, this little ridge right here. I don't know exactly where, but that's not important as long as I know where I'm at relative to uh, terrain features that I can use to validate my location. Things like handrails and waypoints. Um, that road, that old logging road that we uh, left from back down here is a good one. On the other side of this broad flat ridge, there's that creek uh, back here. That's another good one. Now, 
honestly, I don't I don't use my compass all that much when I'm out uh, hiking around in the woods, unless I'm in a situation like this. I'm in closed canopy. It's overcast. It's mellow terrain. It's when, when you're in a situation like this, it's very easy to get turned around. I know where I'm at because I've been paying attention to the way the ridges are running and the way the topography lays. So this is the ridge that we need to get over. <clears throat> and then those little finger ridges are gonna be on the back side of it. This big knob right here. Uh, is this thing right here. And they've got this little saddle over here and those other two knobs, which is where we're, we're headed. So, so I don't have to go down into that creek. It's pretty good ways down in there. I'm going to head this way, kind of skirt around the, the, the head of it and head towards that knob over there so I don't have to go down and go up and back down. This way we'll get down to the creek and then we'll have a better idea of where we're at. Then we'll head up the hill, we'll hit that road and once we hit that road we'll have an even better idea of where we're at. Then we can work our way up to that knob. So we're in this little seasonal creek here. I don't know exactly where along the creek I am, but I do know that that, that, that old closed log road is up here above us because it parallels this creek on this side. So we're just gonna keep on heading uphill, kind of on our same bearing. We'll bump into that road, and then we'll, once we get to that road, uh, we can walk it up a little ways, and then uh, take off of that and head right up to our, our knob that we're gonna start off to drop down onto those finger ridges. Well, we made it. We're sitting on this point right here. Those two little finger ridges that we were looking at earlier are right off here. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. It's getting kind of late uh, this evening, so I'm not going to go down there. I'm just going to sit up here and do some glass and then hope I can see a buck come out and know where to be in the morning. No, I didn't walk a straight line to get here. There's any a number of reasons that you want to veer off the bearing that you first shot from your original location to your your final destination. Uh, for me today, you know, there was the creek down there that I didn't want to drop down into all the way, so I kind of uh, adjusted my heading and uh, skirted around the uh, the head of that uh, that little creek there. You know, every now and then when I was walking through the timber, I'd pull out my compass, I'd look at it, and I could tell if I was on the right bearing or not. And sometimes I'd be off, and you'd have to adjust. Um, you know, sometimes I'd be uh, drifting to the right and uh, you have to pay attention and realize that and then correct for that and then kind of head back to the left a little bit and keep heading in your general direction. Take these things and get out in the woods and, and do some hiking and, and hike around and, and try to find different things. Uh, you know, try to find a spring on a hillside or try to find different features on your map. You know, it's a lot of fun. You explore a country that you probably never would have before and then you'll develop those skills so that if you ever do need it, even if you do use a GPS, if you ever do need them, you'll have the confidence that it takes to know that you can use them and know that you can find your way wherever you want to go.